Hi and welcome to the third video on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous tutorial I showed you how to set up your first um, game scene in Unity. So what we've done is we've added a background, um, so we've got a sky background, we've added some uh, grass and also added a ball. But if I run this game and click on play, nothing actually happens yet and that's because there's no physics set up in this game. Um, so the ball doesn't fall and land on the ground or anything like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at in this tutorial. So what we need to do in order to make this ball have um, uh, physics and things like gravity so that it can fall, we need to add a physics um, rigid body 2D component. So we can click on the ball either here in the um, scene or on the hierarchy and over here on the inspector panel you can click on add component go down to physics 2d and then select rigid body 2d so that will add a rigid body 2d component to um, the ball sprite now there's a few different properties here like mass linear drag angular drag gravity scale and so on what we'll do is just test this so we'll click on play and now you see the ball actually falls. So it does now have um, physics, it has um, gravity, and it can fall. Okay, so that's good. But when I play it, you'll notice it just keeps falling. And it doesn't actually hit the ground and stop. So what we, uh, what we have here is we have physics set up on the ball, um, but we've got nothing set up on the ground. Okay, so it falls through the ground because the ground is not actually reacting to physics yet. All right, so what we need to do is click on the ground and then we need to click on add component. We'll go to physics 2D. And instead of add, adding a rigid body, what we're going to do is add a collider. And there's several different colliders here that we can choose from. Okay, for this object, because it's just a flat ground, we could either choose a box collider or an edge collider. I'm going to choose an edge collider now and show you what that looks like. And then we'll look at other types of colliders later on. So I'll click on edge collider 2D. And now you should see, I'll just move around and zoom in. You should see that there's actually a line here. Okay, a green line. That's the actual collider, which means that when the ball hits this green line, it's going to um, interact with this object, so it's going to actually um, hopefully stop and roll along there. Now, just to demonstrate that, I might actually rotate uh, this ground a little bit. So we'll create a little bit of a hill. So that this ball can just roll down here. We'll also just move the ball across a little bit. Okay, so click back on the ground here and we have this green edge collider here. Now, what we can do is we can click on edit collider and just make sure that this um, green line is actually on the ground. So it's, we can click and drag these little endpoints here and just move it down a little bit. And there we go. Now what we'll need to do is also add one to this ground here because we've actually got two grounds. So we've got grass thin sprite over here and then grass thin sprite one over here. So click on that, add component, physics 2D and we'll add another edge collider there. Then click on edit collider and we'll also just drag that down too. Oops. Move across. You can click at different points, points on the line if you need to create a little bit of a bump or anything like that. Um, we can just click off edit collider to um, go off that editing of the collider. All right, so now we have two colliders. We have one on the ground here and another one on the ground over here. Uh, and we have a rigid body on the ball. Now I'll click on play, it won't completely work yet. Click on play, the ball still goes through the ground. Now, 
for two objects to collide, both must have a Collider 2D component, but only one of them needs to have a Rigid Body 2D component. So at the moment, the ball has a Rigid Body 2D component and the ground has a Collider 2D component, but the ball also needs to have a Collider 2D component um, for the ball to be able to collide with the ground. So we can click on the ball and we can go over to Add Co Component on the Inspector Panel, Physics 2D, and we need to also add a collider to the ball. So it already has a rigid body 2D component. We need to add a collider 2D component. And because this ball is round, we might as well choose a circle collider 2D component. Okay. And if we zoom in here and have a look, the collider is actually bigger than the ball. So we need to edit this collider. So we could click on edit collider and we can drag that circle in. So it's the exact same size as the ball. And then we can click off edit collider. Okay, we can zoom back out. All right, and now what we'll do is play the game and see what happens. There we go. So now that both objects have a collider and the ball has a rigid body 2D component, um, they can actually, the two objects can actually collide. So we'll play that again. The ball can collide with the ground and it can roll down the hill and pick up some speed. All right, so that's basically how to add physics and collision properties for a 2D game in Unity. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to add bounce and we'll also add some more objects to this scene um, before we get into scripting. Thanks for watching.